still ahead at six new concerns about that volcano. When it comes to solar, the future is bright, especially in North Carolina. It's the second largest producer of solar energy, only behind California. But when a tariff or a tax on a specific import was announced on solar panels from China, things suddenly looked a little dim, particularly for Stu Miller of Yes Solar Solutions. They install solar systems for homes and businesses. Although we'll probably be able to absorb some of the cost increase, I, I do think that uh, there will be higher prices, which could lead to uh, less adoption of solar in the state. And unfortunately, that could lead to loss of jobs. A lot of jobs. The Solar Energy Industries Association says 23,000 jobs could be eliminated this year alone. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, but could that happen? Well, we'll get to that in a bit. Now, what doesn't make sense to some is why. Solar has made about 260,000 jobs in the United States since solar became a viable thing. It's a $29 billion industry. Solar has, has proven to lower electricity costs for everybody, and particularly here in North Carolina. So the whole, the whole impact could be that uh, we feel higher electricity prices here in North Carolina. And if there's a 5% decrease or a 10% decrease, we're talking uh, a lot of jobs. The Trump administration says China is making way more solar panels than the United States. About 80% more, give or take. So in an effort to boost American solar manufacturing, the tariff was placed. Is it a good idea? Well, we asked an economics professor from NC State. I don't think this is the end point. I think what they want is a, is a um, trading world where we get something, perhaps access to Chinese markets, opening up Chinese markets more to U.S. companies, which has been an issue. We get something in return for reducing these tariffs. And? Now, uh, the other thing that could happen is that the administration might want to encourage foreign producers to bring that production to the U.S. And that could be one consequence, which would perhaps be a win-win for U.S. jobs, as well as a win for, um, in, for example, with respect to solar uh, users. So do we need to ring an alarm bell? I think it's too soon to, to ring the alarm bell. I do think that those who are advocates of solar power are, are disappointed, are, are going to be disappointed. As for Stu and his North Carolina-based business. This whole solar industry is like riding a solar coaster and uh, we're constantly being challenged by either political factions or fossil fuel industry groups. It's just one, one uh, barrier after another. It's just another day at the office. The tariffs work like this, 30% for the first year, then 25% for the following year, then on to 20% and ultimately 15%. And like most videos on social media, let us know what you think in the comments below. For ABC 11 Eyewitness News, I'm Gary Cooper. There's an old saying that goes, fools rush in where angels fear to tread. Well, one angel in particular walked right into this Kmart in Raleigh and made Christmas a lot brighter for a lot of families. As expensive as the holidays can be, Erica Perry is mindful of her budget for her two kids, Xavier and Tatiana. So Perry uses layaway and this year it's- um, Power wheels for my daughter, um, some remote control cars, Legos, just a, it was just all toys. Let's hope the kids are not watching this. Anyway. On uh, Friday they called me and said that a Secret Santa had paid $100 on our layaway for us. But well, she said that um, the Secret Santa paid $100 on everybody's layaway. According to the manager at the Kmart on Six Forks Road, this Secret Santa spent $1,500 on other people's layaway plans. It gets better. Um, no kid should op wake up Christmas morning and not have at least one gift under the tree. So every year around this time, we have angels that come in and they pay on people's layaways. Angel is another way of putting it, and still it gets even better. The generosity this year has definitely uh, been, been bigger than other years, in previous years. However, the one stipulation is for layaways that these angels pay out, it has to be kids' toys and kids' clothes. 
Fair enough. Still, a stranger spending $1,500 on toys for kids is one way to spread hope to infinity and beyond. Or this is the good news story you've been looking for. And while we may let it go and soon forget, Erica Perry certainly will not. It helped us a whole lot. We really appreciate it. Thank you for paying on our, that $100 on our layaway. We really, really appreciate it. Now, regardless of what you may believe in or not believe in, maybe after watching this, you might think that there really are angels who walk among us. In Raleigh, Gary Cooper, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. It's been used in the medical community for literally decades. Unfortunately, it's probably going to be really useful. Um, there have been some statistics out just within the last 24 hours that um, um, accident or, or opioid overdoses are now the leading cause of accidental death in North Carolina. See what's happening this instant. ABC 11 Eyewitness News starts right now. Right now at 6, we are tracking record-breaking heat on this Mother's Day. Good evening, I'm Gary Cooper. Now, a cool down is on the way. However, meteorologist Brittany Bell is here now with more. And congrats to all of them. Up next, a popular spot in the mountains will be closed starting tomorrow. We'll show you why. But as we head to break, a live look at the Raleigh skyline. Today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott attended a church service to honor the 10 victims. This comes just hours before a funeral service was held for one of the students killed. Also breaking this evening, final preparations are underway for the summit between President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Both leaders are now in Singapore ahead of today's historic meeting. ABC's Karen Travers is also in Singapore with the latest.